Hello everyone, my name is Miss Chief. I'm your fellow classmate in Play Together High School. I'm here to show you around the school so you don't get lost, as well as help you get straight A's in your report cards. Here we are outside of the school. Here, you will meet Timid Girl. Timid Girl stands there all day, but during nighttime, she will have a special task for you. So don't forget to come back for her between 8 p.m. to 12 p.m. And just on the other side, we have Vice Principal. He also has a special task during nighttime, so don't forget to come back for him at midnight. Out here, you will also see how many A plus you have accumulated. Here we are inside Play Together High School. So when you come in, you do have to select a name tag, and each name tag is free except for principal, which costs 900 star cash. Let's start our school tour by looking at the map. This is the map for the whole campus. The only thing you won't see here is the boys' washroom and the girls' washroom. Let's head first to the administration office. In the administration office, you will meet Friendly Han. She sells school uniform, but you can also go to the costume shop for more options. Next up, nurse's office. It's funny how they call it the nurse's office when there is no nurse working at all. Instead, you'll meet unfriendly doctor. He's not a very nice doctor. Next room we will check is the library. In the library, you get two different classes. First one is library, and the second one is 7-Eleven card matching game. Here is the playthrough of the library class. You must select the word that matches the text color. So it does say red, but the text color is black. So you must select black to get the correct answer. To get an A+, your score should be 100 before the time runs out. The second class in library is 7-Eleven card matching game. Match the cards with the same product illustration in a row to get more rewards. To get an A plus in this class, you have to at least get 100 match cards before the time runs out. Alright, on to our next location, the art room. In the art room, you have two classes, connect shapes and art class. First class will be Connect Shapes. I have a hard time getting A plus in this class because I'm not fast enough and my screen doesn't swipe smoothly. So maybe you'll do better than me. You have to at least get 20 to get A plus in this class. Next is art class. Gather the colored paper with the same color in one place. So this one is pretty easy. You just go as fast as you can. There's 100 stacked papers that you have to organize and you have to do it before the time runs out to get an A+. Plus. Next stop is the cooking room. In the cooking room, we only have one class, which is cooking class. And it's easy. You just stack up 
food in the same order as the left side. So just copy whichever you see on the left side on the right side. And to get an A+, you have to complete 25 recipes before the time runs out. In your school schedule, you actually have two classes in the morning, a lunch break, and then three classes in the afternoon. So during your lunch break, you can actually hang out in the cafeteria and meet some cool people like Archie. In the cafeteria, you can buy drinks from the vending machine which is on the right side and you can buy food from our cafeteria staff, Dorothy and Jamie. Since we have some extra time, let's check the music room. As a person who loves music, it's really sad how we don't have any classes in here. So let me know in the comments on how would you imagine music class would be if we ever had any class in here. Since it's the music room, you will see a lot of different instruments. Here we have the keyboard, there's a piano up there, and you can even bring your own instrument for fun and for a photograph. Our next stop is the gymnasium. We also don't have any classes in here, but I really wish it's not running laps. The gym is so big that we have the basketball court, a stage, and a bunch of bleachers. We also have Mr. Jim who never stops moving. As I mentioned before, it doesn't show on the map, but we do have washrooms. We have one for the girls and one for the boys, and they're all functional. You can use the sink and the toilet too. Continuing our tour, let's check out the computer room. In the computer room, you have one class, which is computer. Enter the correct alphabets in order. In this class, you have to correctly type 20 random words before the time runs out to get an A+. Our next room will be math room. It's my least favorite. In math room, you have two classes. You have advanced math and math. Ironically, advanced math is actually easier than the regular math. In advanced math, you just have to tap the numbers from 1 to 54 as fast as you can or before the time runs out. I was even late in this class and I still got an A+. Next one is the regular math. Here, you are given an equation and you have to answer as fast as possible. I find this harder than the advanced math because sometimes they have multiplication and you have to answer really quickly because of the timer. I still try to get an A+, so in order to get that, I have to answer all the questions correctly at a good pace. Our next room is the laboratory, or in short, the lab room. In here, you have one class which is biology. So in biology class, you must divide the cell using the left and the right button. 
The rules are easy, but it does get harder because there will be more different types of cells. In order to get an A plus in this class, you have to at least divide 250 cells before the time runs out. Last but not the least, the principal's office. There aren't any classes here in the principal's office, but there is a special task that's only available during nighttime, so it's still good to know where it is. I hope you learned a lot watching this video, but if you have any more questions, just let me know down at the comments section. And also, let me know what's your favorite class. And I heard that it's pretty scary here at school during nighttime, so make sure to watch my next video about schools and zombies. Thank you for watching. Please support me by following my YouTube channel, liking this video, and of course, following my Instagram and Facebook page. See you next time at Mischief Not Managed.